60 seconds on the production possibility frontier. Now, this diagram is foundational for analysing opportunity cost and economic efficiency. You should be able to differentiate between movements along the curve via a reallocation of scarce resources and shifts to the curve due to, for example, economic growth. High marks also require you to illustrate productive efficiency, any point on the curve, versus inefficiency and also unattainable production points. Here's a PPF showing the output of wheat and beef. It's a bow-shaped PCF, PPF, so when scarce resources are reallocated away from wheat towards the beef industry, there is an opportunity cost shown by the gradient of the PPF. And the curve of this, of this diagram shows the law of diminishing returns. For example, the opportunity cost is increasing from B to C. 14 units of wheat must now be sacrificed for each extra unit of beef. Now, an outward shift to the PPF means that the total output of both beef and wheat can increase as shown here. Uh, this is an improvement in potential output or economic growth. And in this diagram, higher productivity in the beef industry, with all factors held constant, causes a pivotal outward shift in the production possibility curve. Any point that lies on the PPF is an efficient allocation of resources, whereas points inside the PPF, for example D and E, show an inefficient allocation of scarce resources, since it's possible to use more of one good without sacrificing any of the other. F is an output combination that's not yet attainable because it lies beyond the existing PPF.